Okay, so now um, I guess you know the feelings that came to me since um, the video I just made, which we'll call Part One Draken. Okay, and this will be called Part Two Draken. And um, the message, you know, when I, you know, just because when I just started telling you about the secret societies in the Christian Church, I didn't even realize that that's what I was supposed to talk about until I started talking about it, it started coming through me. Boom. Because I was going to tell you about the 161 Bible again, you know, and stuff. But anyhow, so now it's, because um, I'm sure, because ever since I've been in Dragon's Bag and stuff, I, I can feel him. I can feel him big time. And I can, and also, um, I thought that I was able to kind of see him in the mirror a little bit the other day, but I wasn't sure. But but I can feel the calmness, and I can feel the, um, knowing that we're going to be okay now, and I feel safe. I feel safe. Um, and I've got to stop making these videos with my pop bubbles and, like, really, I don't see the picture. And, um, I just, because Drake, Drake, and he's, he's, I love him, I love, I love everybody. But in the house, so, now what I'm saying is that, you know, these Christian ministers are being taught to, to preach throughout the churches, throughout the world, you know, because all the churches have always preached about the apocalypse and the revelation and stuff, you know, and so a lot of them are preaching at the times now. You know, and so then they're going to say that um, there will be false people appearing on the scene that will appear to be good and loving and stuff, you know, and like they're trying to make everybody think, like, okay, when these are teens, you know, because they're monsters or anything that might look different, you know, they look like monsters or be evil. Like, for instance, when you see the pictures of hell and you saw these demons and all these people out there like that, do they look like they're mean or do they look like they're in pain and agony? When you see the really, when you see these pictures of these people in hell, these demons, do they look like they're really evil or do they just look like they're being tormented? Okay, you know, it was all, I'm just so confused, but, um, so the church is so, you know, because the whole the thing about everything, now, okay, if you think about our time, after death and before Christ. It's all based around Christ. <laughs> so he's the main character in this, believe it or not, but he's totally hippie. He's, he's like a hippie man. Not us, not saying that in any way about him, but disrespect at all, but he is just so... He's so, so cool. He's so much fun. He's not anal either. Um, but so, anyhow, the church, as you know, because the church is literally get fanatical about stuff sometimes, you know, and so all people who go to church is just remember to ask your preachers, are they anything more about it? They'll just go, why do you really see what's inside here? That just won't be interesting to get the information, because I'm going to be able to get information out there. I've been practicing that for a long time. If you're going to get the information from them, you need to come back to them in a way that's like, Hey, but then you have to look at them with a total awe and it, be so, oh, that was mystified by them, like, you know, like, like, uh, make them feel like they're just as close to God as anybody can be, because that's what they do with the egos, that's how they get, they are um, convinced or manipulating and manipulating you, but, um, uh, but, you know, like, you know, it's like, oh, you know, and, and I'm just, I don't know if you should want to create a better way, but find out, you know, oh, the which church of the school did you go to? Oh, is there a group for all the teachers? Well, you know, is there a place, I think there's a place where all the ministers and preachers and pastors go, you know, and stuff, and just, you know, I'm not really good with words, and sometimes I'm better if I'm if I was dealing directly with, you know, the minister preacher guy right now, but, um, which I wish to show to will be, I'm soon, but, uh, Sometimes I get that's not that's how I know that the tree is in a tree because I can't wait till I'm able to show you and start telling you because showing you you know it's only you can tell tell somebody something it's like a blue to your blue in the face if you try anything to manifest you know to make it you know come from being just a bad idea and something that's real, there has to be something manifest, and so that's what I'm going to do. So you guys, I'm going to see that the Christian church is okay, and that's true, people and stuff, they're being taught that um, they're preparing all the Christians, you know, to, to think that there's no way possible that anybody that has any blood stains on their will could actually be um, real and be a God of creation and stuff. But you know what? Everything is of God. Everything is of creation. 
which is inside of looks like a little bit even more um, even if you do that I don't know you know I'm not going to be like thinking about so much in the astral trap in there and then because you know but even if you got you couldn't get in there actually never mind trade because that you know there's actually no way it can be penetrated in or out but so many different levels of walls and layers and so many different styles of magic you can weave around it there's nothing that can be penetrated or get out of it um, except him because he is a keeper Okay, now, um, and so my master makes some noise on me, I've drawn some pen out, and I have to read the letters between me and pen out, you'll see where he was trying, and he was before I had to, the few of us in the queen, trying to get me pure, trying to get back drugs, and I made it, trying to do the second bit fast, so I two days of being clean and stuff, and so, you know, get the trick in, and I know you won't be trying to get me a trick in, but we gotta help you, we gotta get you help, but soon Drake and this, and my master Mason here, he didn't, couldn't do anything, but when he did do things that he wasn't supposed to do, he was really punished for it, and that would be, you know, just hurt and tortured so bad, but he was still under, or saved under, and I don't know who's with even up to the very end, um, so then I would shake on you, you treat Drake a bit nicer, and you sure better be real nice here now, because I'm saying I have him. Um, I'm out of time. Uh, thanks for nice to meet you, love you. Drake, love you. But Drake wants to know if we can use your body soon, very soon, so that he can inhabit you, so that because he has something very important. He has more things to tell me that I might not be able to get. In, the, in time, the information I might not really get in time, just get me this way, maybe, but really he needs to be able to talk to me through a mouse because there's stuff that he needs to tell me, tell us, so he can survive this.